Howdy everybody, it's Miss Kosh. I wanted to work this problem really fast um, to show you a few calculator suggestions. Okay, so what they're telling us is that this is a, an arithmetic series, um, and they're telling us that they want the sum as n goes from one to some unknown value, some the k value, of six n plus 17. That's my birthday, six seventeen. I'd like to use that. Um, and we need to figure out how many terms does it take to get this sum of 2,375. Okay, so we know it's arithmetic, and that means our arithmetic formulas are either going to be s sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n, or we could use s sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Well, when we look at those two things, we know the first term because I can plug in 1. Like we know a sub n here is just this formula, 6n plus 17. So a sub 1, I plug in 1, I have 6 plus 17 is 23, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I can use that, but then I don't know what number to plug in for here. Um, I, don't, I don't know my n, so I don't know the value of my nth term. I just know the sum of n terms. So I'm going to want to use this version of the equation because I also know that this number, this 6 right here, is my common difference. So since I know the common difference is 6, and I know the first term, and I know the sum of n terms, I can plug into this equation and try and solve for n. So I have 2375 is equal to n over 2 times 2. I said a sub 1 was 23 plus n minus 1 times my common difference was 6, and I can close the parentheses. Okay, not going to lie, this is gross. There's just no way around it. It's gross. I could clean this up a little bit more, or actually what I could do at this point is I could go to my Casio, and I could come to Equation Solver. And I can do solve. Oh, I don't even know what that mess is. Um, delete. Okay. Um, and what was my equation? It was 2375 equals, um, I, instead of n, I'm going to use x, but x over 2 times, well, 46 plus close parenthesis, x minus 1. I was just too lazy to type in 2 times 23, and it was easier for me to multiply, um, times 6, close the parentheses, and now it's wanting, it's a kind of, it needs an interval to look in. Okay, we'll just tell it solve. Oh, uh, looky there. Okay, so we found our x value, which in our case is n, or in this case, it's really k is what we're, so, sorry that we have so many different letters, um, but yeah, maybe I should have done that for you instead. But basically, it's as n goes from 1 to this k value. I should have made these k's. Okay. I should have made those k's. And then, the but my, my calculator, I needed to use x. So we're kind of out of luck on that one. Um, but what we find is that k is equal to 25. Um, the, I would expect to get more than one answer. Um, because the other option, okay, let's talk about this for a second. The other option is to clean this mess up a little bit more and say that we have this is equal to, if I, oh my goodness, okay, this is k over 2 times 46 plus uh, 6k minus 6, so we can kind of clean this up. Um, that's 6k plus 40. When I notice that those are even, so that's kind of nice. So I could say this is equal to um, 3k squared plus 20k. And now I have something that's quadratic. Um, it's not nice to solve. Um, but if I come back to my calculator, I can do a polynomial. I have a degree 2. My coefficients, I just forgot, were 3, 20, and negative 2375. And notice right there, so remember a second ago I just said I expected two answers. Um, I do, once again, get that same value of 25, which is what I was looking for. But I also get the second value because this was quadratic, and so it's crossing the x-axis um, in two different places. The other option, um, this also, just a little side note, this is part of why I don't really like to encourage y'all to use equation solver, because you'll notice with solver, it just gave me one answer. 
So I knew there was a second answer. So maybe if I hit repeat, um, if we look from on the negative side, let's see what it does. This um, Okay, okay. So if I, I can restrict where it should look and then it'll give me the other answer, but it doesn't necessarily, it, it, it's, it's, I don't recommend it because I need you to find every answer usually. But in this particular case, we don't care about every answer because it's a sequence. And so I'm looking for a term number. This has to be an integer. Okay, so that negative 31 and two thirds or whatever it was, um, isn't any good for this particular context. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. The other thing that you could have done is go down to, you could go over to graph and you could graph, I don't even know. Oh, look, that's a, that's <laughs> the finite geometric series. Okay, whatever. Um, I don't know why it's there. Um, I could plug that in and see, okay, I have 3x squared plus 20x minus 2375. I could plug that in and I can look to see, okay, where does it, oh goodness, I don't even know what my window is. Window, um, my x value went to 100. So let's make this from negative, negative 50 to positive 50, just to kind of guess and see if we can get an idea of, okay. Can you tell what that quadratic is trying to look like? Window, my y values are negative, I don't know. Not enough, okay, well, whatever. It's a big parabola that's doing that sort of thing. But now I can do G solve and find my roots. And there's that one, and here's the other. So you've got some choices as to how you wanna solve this. I mean, yes, this factors, but good luck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a nice person. Um, good luck trying to factor that by hand, but you do have a calculator, you have access to that. Um, if you're trying to use Desmos, what would I suggest on that? I would play with it before the day of the test so that you're not struggling with it the day of the test. So let me, um, let me give you one. I'm gonna play on the calculator for just a second where you can't see it. Um, if I said, hang on. This, um, here's the one for you to try. I'll tell you, um, as n goes from 1 to k of, um, my sister's birthday is 12, 9. <laughs> okay. Um, and I want that value to be, hang on. Oop, dang it. I hit the wrong button. Um... Okay, so let's say this is equal to three, two, three, four. Um, you go try this one by yourself. The answer that you should get, hit pause. I'm gonna tell you the answer though. Um, the answer you should get is that K is equal to 22. So go see if you can do that one on your own. Figure out how to get technology to help you find that answer. All right, good luck.